Hi, what's going on guys? I'm, it's Ajit Seno. Uh, welcome back to my channel and we talk with Abby Uh Yeah, uh, sorry guys for disturbing the video because I'm gonna make a confession. Yeah, uh, I bought a new camera and a video mic right before I went to the stage so I didn't have enough time to read a manual book or learn my camera well. Here's the thing. So yeah, this is my new camera and the microphone. Like I said before, I didn't read a manual book, so that I just use it anyway. When I was looking for a microphone port of this camera, uh, yeah, I found two doors over here. And this is the other doors. Yeah, two doors. And then I found the headphone icon of this camera. So I plug my microphone into this port. Most of my footage had been recorded with this kind of setup until I realized there is another door next to the other's door. Boom. And the surprise was, yeah, this is the microphone icon. And I was like, what? Okay, I was doing wrong. And then I downloaded the manual book in order to figure it out and this is the right port. So, uh, yeah, I'll, my some of my footage sounds like crap. Yeah, so I'm sorry for that. And what I'm doing right now is tweaking the sounds as good as I can. Reminder, make sure you guys join the giveaway because this is a limited edition WWDC merchandise 2008. So uh, let's get back to the video. Uh, Kerry, okay. Hey, <laughs> How does it feel working in San Francisco? Uh, well, I mean, uh, so I live about 50 miles from San Francisco, but I've worked in San Francisco before, and I live in Silicon Valley. Uh -huh. Silicon Valley is big, yeah. very big, and it's really expensive. Right? Is that expensive? <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> uh, I tell my family, if I was just me, yeah. and I wanted to live in uh, San Francisco, uh, I would have to be a software engineer to afford it, really, oh. right? or a manager or someone at a higher level. Yeah. But here's the thing, of course you were a software engineer before in the or time the, of your career. Yeah, yeah, as an engineer, yeah. And you got maybe some uh, changing into your career. You, you've been product manager, marketing manager, and you've right. been working in Apple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But, uh, but why you, you change back yeah, to the software Yeah, it's a funny question, and a lot of people ask this question. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was a double E. I was doing systems engineering, so I had to learn some software, I had to put equipment together, and it was fun, but I said, well, if I really want to be successful, I should I should have an MBA. So I went to business school, which was a lot of years, a lot of time, and everything. I loved it. My project from business school, I used that to get into Apple. It was actually Apple TV study, right? You don't see that in profile, but that's how I actually got into yeah. Apple. And the thing is, um, I was there at Apple and it's great, but I wasn't doing software at all. It was very like dealing with people. And right. So this is before the App Store. Yeah. And so, and, and App Store was part of iTunes, which is going to work. And it was 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. A long time ago. A long time, a long time ago, ago, right? But uh, App Store started with like four or five people, right? Not a lot of people. Like product owner, uh, some QA people, technical people. This is in in iTunes, and then like engineering, they took all that content. But the point is, it was very small, right? Oh. Okay. So if you remember, maybe you you don't remember when when the App Store started, it would take like a month for your app to be approved. It was because there's not a lot of people, right? So now it's like a couple of days, it's not that bad. And I was like, man, you know, I went to school and everything, but hey, if I just go back to software, I might be able to get really, really rich. My first app was for soccer, I love soccer. Oh, okay. And, um, I, I thought you were an NBA player. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you will soccer, I, okay, that's okay. I will kick a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but so I, I said, Oh, you know, I've got this great idea. Yeah. I bet you, but you can't work at Apple and have an app. So, <laughs> so that's where I started doing it. 
and I talked to my friend, and before I knew it, I was getting paid to do iOS development. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it was so much fun. And every every project. And you love that. I love it. Okay. Yeah, and I just said, well, not only is it fun, but they're paying me. A lot. You know, a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's one of the things. Is like if if I was seven feet tall. Yeah. And and everyone said you should play basketball, <laughs> right? And I was good at it. Yeah. I would say, okay, I like soccer, but I better play basketball. It was like that. Okay. You know, I like I like doing the software development, even though I was trying not to do it. But I was like, oh, it's so easy to do. That's the main reason. And to this day, I've been doing it for a long time. Okay. And and I, it, it seems like every project I work on, it's it's so different. I've worked on medical stuff. I've worked on ticketing stuff. I've worked with. Uh, wow. Credit card stuff. It's you know iOS developers like if you know how to use the tools, it doesn't matter which field, right? As you know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's insane. You have a lot of experience. Mm. Oh yeah. Anyway, mm. can we change the spot? Because sure, sure. The sun is fading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next. <laughs> okay, you watched my video before. Mm -hmm. uh, a day in the life is over. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell me the difference? between software engineering in Jakarta uh -huh. and Silicon Valley? Yeah, I mean, well, the key thing, and yeah. you know this, I've been in Jakarta a lot. I've been in, in Southeast Asia a lot. Oh, that's right. Awesome. So I know it is difficult to go to the office in Jakarta. Right? Yeah, because of the uh, traffic. Traffic and everything. Yeah. And your video is great, but I know around the corner <laughs> it's a traffic jam. Yeah, I didn't tell right? you the traffic jam. So I, I think the thing is, in Silicon Valley, most of the time, they want you to come in the office, but they also realize you can probably work from home too. Oh, so a lot of companies are okay with it as long as you get your work done. So I right now, I work from home. Wow. Um, my, my employer is in Switzerland. Right? Switzerland? Wow. Switzerland, yeah. So, you know, it's like, which is fine because they can contact me with, with Slack or something like that, right? Have um, you ever hands on meeting? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, not, yeah. not with them, not with oh. them. That's, but I'm saying when I'm in the office, when I'm with a company in Silicon Valley, like uh, my last uh, full time, yeah. I was in the office every day, right? Okay. Maybe it would be a day where I had to go do something and I just worked here, right? Oh. So it depends on the company. Yeah. Um, but generally, um, I would say they want you to be in the office, but if you're really, really good, yeah. like you're an engineer where <laughs> just like you can walk over the ground for five inches, they don't care as long okay. as you get your work done, right? Like, you can do whatever you want if you yeah, want Yeah, okay. it's like anything, right? So, I, and this, your video is great because I love it. You, you're like, oh, okay, you're playing with your cat a little bit. Yeah. It looks very much like Silicon Valley. Maybe you get your car and you put your stuff in. I'm like, man, look, you got all the gadgets. Yeah. Very similar. And then you drive and you're all smiling. And then you get to the office and I'm like, oh, but the traffic. <laughs> Even if you have a car, you have your own car, but yeah. it's still difficult, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not helpful. Right, so by the time you get to your destination, you're already stressed. <laughs> right? That's the way it is. Yeah. And I'm an American and we're not used to that, but i just been there so many okay. times, right? Okay. But I liked how in your video you go and you do that and you say, oh, we need to get some coffee and cream. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And I could see like the Indonesian way is like, hey, we're going to make sure we eat, we're going to have nice coffee, we're going to relax. Yeah. Because it's so yeah. stressful anyway. But I'm, I'm really surprised. I like the video because it really showed all that other stuff yeah. in in Jakarta. Yeah, yeah, but actually it's not. Not all the startup companies do that in Jakarta. Right. Oh, sure not. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, sure. It's only in the big companies. In the bigger companies, big yeah. companies. You, you, you were telling me about the, the cool things in San Francisco, uh -huh. I mean, the cool thing in Silicon Valley, uh -huh. but now, what is the bad thing because in software engineering in Silicon Valley? I think the number one thing is, is just rent is ridiculously high. It's very expensive oh, here. Oh, really? Yeah. If, uh, I look at it from this perspective. Even if you try to save money and, and you want to buy a house, most houses, like where we are right here, these yep. houses, two million dollar home in the Two so million dollars, okay. <laughs> Let me convert into rupiah. Two million dollars. It's a lot of zeros in rupiah. Twenty-eight billion. Yeah. Twenty-eight billion in rupiah. Yeah.
Wow, yeah. that's a lot. Right, so like it's hard to buy a house in Silver right? Most people are renting, and the rent isn't cheap either, right? And because the cost of living is so high, it's hard to save. So that's probably a big problem. The other thing is, if you go to like, like we went downtown San Jose. Oh yeah, San Jose. There's yep. a lot of homeless people because it's hard to place. Right? Yeah. Okay, let me know, guys, that in San Jose, a lot of homeless people there. It's just it's it's expensive to do all that stuff. So you have all the same in San Francisco. Yeah. And it's sad because. But I think San Francisco has more. It's more because it's yeah, yeah yeah. Well, the the problem is you've got a lot of wealthy young kids. Oh yeah. And yeah, you exactly. and it's just it's it's that's unpleasant. You know, it's yeah. not like that. Yeah. I think in in Jakarta and in, in Indonesia you have family. So yeah. maybe if you don't have a whole lot of money, maybe you can rely on your family yeah, or something like that. That's correct. Which is what I love right. about yeah. Indonesia so much, yeah. right? It's like I said when when I go to Jakarta, I don't have to think. I just like relax. <laughs> I just eat all the food. <laughs> the relation between family is very it's strong. very strong. Yeah. It's very good. And even before, before well, my wife's Indonesian, before even I went there, I just felt like, oh, it's okay, you know, someone's gonna take care of me, right? Yeah, so that's right. how we met. I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna try to be a good guy <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you can choose uh, your retiring country mm. in Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, right? Because even if. I'm, yeah, maybe I can't save a million dollars, yeah, sure. but I can buy a nice place. Yeah, that's right. right man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be bad at all. <laughs> I get to eat all the food there. <laughs> and I heard the tax in Silicon Valley is pretty bad. Yeah, well, it's the state of California. Yeah, it's pretty, California. yeah and there, so generally, if you're a software engineer, and let's say, like, oh, how much do I need to actually live in San Francisco, for yeah. instance? Yeah, I, like, if you're not making over, like, 120,000 U.S., and it's 2018, it's going to be difficult. Because about 40% of your salary goes to taxes. Right? Yeah, okay. So that, you have that. Then also, you know, food is expensive. Uh, the rent is expensive. Just think, if you spend about two thousand dollars in rent, um, for rent um, that's about average. You are gonna, you're not gonna be able to save a lot of money. So there's the, the yeah, the trade-off. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Okay, for the next question, I will move the camera. I think a lot of people in Indonesia are wondering how much money software engineers earn in Silicon Valley. Yeah, in average. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say on average, it's definitely going to be over a hundred thousand dollars. Over a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's a big. Actually, a lot of places in the U.S. It's, that's a lot of money. But you're in the area where you, you know, if you look at the parking lot, like every other car is like a Tesla, right? So, oh yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, it's it's very common. So that's probably not enough. I mean, I think the the really special thing about this place is if you can get in a good team, you can work with people that are brilliant, you yeah, know, yeah. or you can learn from them, which is, that that's the thing I love the most, is like learn about what's going on, or maybe you're going to do something that no one else ever thought of before. This is, this is a question. Uh, if I earn uh, about maybe uh, $120,000 a year in Silicon Valley, uh -huh. am I rich enough to live here? You're not rich. Okay. <laughs> You're I'm definitely rich. not rich. You can save. It depends. Like, um, I would say a lot of the engineers that come from other countries, in those countries, it's normal to save money. Yeah. Right? Sure. So that's, that's a good thing. A lot of American engineers, we we don't have that cultural thing to save money. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Um, so if you can do that and you have that attitude, I, and I've had friends that have came from other countries, but they said, oh, you know, I'm not going to Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to make my own coffee. I'm gonna... So if you can do it, it's just, it's not easy. Okay, it that way. it's not easy. The way to really be successful here is, is obviously is to work hard and focus on and find something that maybe other people haven't figured out how to solve the problem for. Oh. Right? So even like Uber is a silly thing, but Uber is 
taxis have been around for like yeah. hundreds of years, yeah. right? And and somehow someone said like, hey, we can make it better yeah. if we just know that whoever gets the when they call the car, yeah. they know how much they're gonna pay. That's a simple thing, but that's the killer app, right? You know, oh, because if you go to any country, if you go to any city, you get on the taxi, you don't know how much you're gonna have to pay, and yeah. people get nervous. Right. Yeah, and so Uber has all its issues, but the truth is people like being able to say, oh, okay, I'm going to pay $15. Right that's now. simple, but that's, yeah, that's yeah. very helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're from another country, yeah. right? Um, so I think that's a simple thing. Like if, if yeah. Uber didn't exist, you could have come up with it. Yeah. Right? That's should. why you come to Silicon Valley, because like, yeah. someone can help you do that. Right? Wow. And yeah. you got $15 billion from Google. It's ridiculous, <laughs> you know? Really yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, how to get job in Silicon Valley, yeah, so especially for uh, an office people. Right. I, I would I would think one of the big things you want to do um, for engineers is hard yeah. for us to go and introduce ourselves. So you're great for that. I'm good at it. We can talk to it. But most engineers don't like to do that. Oh, really? But if you want, yeah, because we want to work on our software, on our, on our yeah, computer, yeah. right? Um, I think that's a great way. So you want to go and meet other people that are not in your normal, when you feel uncomfortable and feel like, I don't know these people, that's where you need to be, right? Okay. You see what I'm saying? So that's one way to do it. The other thing I think um, that I've learned is working on open source projects where everyone else is working on the project and they see what kind of work you do, yeah. they'll know, oh, you know, he, he came up with this thing. Okay. Let me. And so that's a way to, for people to know your reputation. Right? Okay. Because the problem when you're from another country, just like the same way, I, w I wanted to work in Asia too, right? Because I've done it and yeah. it's fun. But they don't, if you don't know me, yeah. it's a big risk. Okay. So you want you want people that work with you to see the work that you've done and say like, oh yeah, that person can definitely help us. It's like uh, prove yourself that uh, that you're capable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the secret sauce, I think, for WWDC yeah. is uh, like networking stuff. Networking, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's all. Okay. All the weekend. Awesome. But before that, uh -huh. don't go anywhere because we have to greet our viewers in Indonesia. Oh, oh okay. you're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Terima uh, kasih If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Beri komentar. Thanks for watching. Terima kasih sudah rumanan tan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Thank uh, you so uh, much. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs>